going to go through a few of them. Um, so this is from Annie from Mary U Blog. Um, what was your inspiration for your line? That is a really good question. Um, the inspiration for the line really came from uh, the time that I lived in Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, Charleston is a really historic city and it's also kind of has this like luxe bohemian feel to it. So we have high society meets kind of a little more relaxed feel. So a lot of it came out of the architecture, the colors that you see in the city with this, uh, this blue back here is actually called Haint Blue and it's supposed to ward off evil spirits. So that's good on your wedding day, right? <laughs> uh, so that's pretty much the inspiration. Cool. Alright, um, so Nancy at, is asking, when will you premiere your next collection? Oh, well is this not enough? <laughs> Uh, the next collection will be in the fall, um, so October, so we can keep our eyes out for that if anybody's got a wedding like two years away that they're <laughs> working on. Okay, well speaking of that, so what's your advice for brides starting their dress search? I would say um, just after working as a stylist in the salons and you know, like I'm, I used to be the person who would like help you pick out your dress when you were shopping and just uh, from Watching as watching the process and kind of seeing how things go, I think the best thing is to really keep an open mind. Um, don't necessarily block out anything when you come in the first time. Try on all different styles. You never really know what you're going to like um, until you put it on. So anything that you're drawn to, if it's just the fabric, grab that dress, put it on, see what you think. Cool. Um, so. Um would you do the twist dress from Project Runway as a bridesmaid's dress? This is a question from Erin. <laughs> that could work. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. That'll be part of the next collection. October. <laughs> um, well, what uh, made you go into bridal? Uh, that's a really good question. Um, a lot of people don't realize this, but I actually started in bridal uh, and then I moved into ready to wear right before I went on to Project Runway. So um, I, I have been making wedding gowns since I was in high school actually and for the most part they were all custom dresses um, so they had partly the client and then partly me. This is really the first time where I've just gone full out me. So <laughs> I hope that you like it. <laughs> cool. Um, so Cambria of uh, Mary You Wedding Blog is asking, what type, of, what type of women do you have in mind when you design? Oh man, that's a good question too. Um, I would say that a lot of the times I, I think about my friends because a lot of my friends are getting married right now and not, you know, most of them aren't at the point where they can, you know, shell out like six thousand dollars for a gown so I wanted to do something that's um, a little more approachable and not so traditional things that you can dance in you don't have to have a gown that weighs a hundred pounds you know a lot of the things that you see out, out right now are very heavy <laughs> if any of you which I assume most of you have been shopping <laughs> for them um, and th those are just kind of things that I, I like to keep in mind so. cool. So, um, Lisa wants to know, where is the strangest place you've been recognized from Project <laughs> Um, I was actually recognized in a bar bathroom by seven girls at one time. That was very interesting. <laughs> I'm sure there was lots of shrinking. Yeah, yeah, a little, yeah. little, little bit of excitement. Hide the toilet. Um, <laughs> um, so Erin wants to know: Is there a price range for all the wedding dresses? Um, for the most part, um, I've tried to keep things, like I said, a little bit more approachable. Um, so everything caps out at five thousand, and most of them are going to be in the range between about eighteen to to thirty-five. Average is probably between two and three thousand. So. I, I, I don't know. I just I feel like there's a there's a lack of gowns in that price range that aren't made of polyester, and I really don't like polyester. So. <laughs> That's good. Um, so speaking of that, where can um, brides buy your dresses? Well, that is uh, also a good question. These are all very good questions. Um, since this is the first collection, I've been meeting with stores this weekend, so um, the best way to find out what those stores will be is to sign up on my website, which is carol-hannah.com, um, for the updates, and I'll send out a, an email blast on as to where those will be sold. Um, I also have a, a studio here, um, which I share with Logan, who's around somewhere. Hey, buddy. <laughs> 
Um, and <laughs> uh, that's on 39th Street. So if anybody wants to come in and you know try things on, um, I do take appointments there. It's, it's very much a working studio, so it's not quite as fancy as some of the salons, but um, it's it's good personal attention. So my cards are around. Just email me, call me. And so those are all the cards we have here. Does anybody in the crowd have a question they want to ask? Will you work with brides on the style of their gown or? Like customizing? Yes. Yeah, there is some flexibility, especially um, like if you took one gown and like something, if you took like, like this is the, the Hazel Street gown, um, if you turn around, this doesn't have a train, but we can put one on it. And there's a lot of options there. Um, in terms of like basing off of one design that's already made and making it a little more your own. Like if you don't want buttons, you want buttons, you want um, straps, things like that. There's definitely options within that. And I do take on a kind of limited number of um, totally custom gowns a year. I try to only do about eight because it's very time consuming. So, <laughs> but that is an option.